Uh, time now is 8.39. You know, most of us know someone with a hearing loss. Some of you may be experiencing hearing loss yourself. You know, here in Arizona, there are more than a million people who are deaf or hard of hearing. About 90% are older Americans. Oftentimes, people dismiss the signs as no big deal. But hearing loss can actually be an early indicator of dementia and other things as well. So important not to ignore. Right now, the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. They are launching what's being called the Age of Access Initiative to be a destination for resources, information, and programming for people who are experiencing hearing loss. So Michelle Michaels, good friend, uh, she is from the commission. Uh, she joins us this morning to talk about how they are learning about the needs of this particular community. Michelle, good morning. It's always great to see you, my friend. Wonderful to uh, see you. Tell us about this initiative that you guys have launched and the survey yeah. that's online. Well, we've realized that there are over 1 million Arizonans over the age of 60 who are hard of hearing like me. Mm -hmm. And so we also know that there are thousands of older adults who are deaf, who use sign language. And we really want to figure out what are their needs? What do they need? What barriers are they encountering? And so we actually have a survey on our website mm -hmm. that we'd like them to take. And what do you expect as some of the uh, results will show you in accommodations that you might be able to make for these folks who are experiencing hearing loss? One of the things that we find is like in healthcare, uh -huh. people go to their doctors, they go to the hospital, and they don't have access to communication. They don't hear well, people wearing masks, mm. their hearing aids are out, maybe they use sign language. So those are some barriers that we're seeing. You know, I think that that really naturally leads into the fact that it's so important not to ignore uh, when you've got some hearing issues. Mm -hmm. Every, you know, every year we go to the dentist, every year we get our yeah. eyes checked. Uh, talk to me about how important it is to get our ears checked every single year. You should get your ears checked every year. If you want to maintain your quality of life, interaction, not be isolated, go to a hearing aid dispenser or an audiologist, have them look in your ears, give you a little hearing test, see where you're at, if there's any issues that need to be addressed, and especially after July 4th, make sure that you avoid those loud sounds. Yeah, for sure. You know, Michelle, I think that so often, especially as we age, you know, we start to see things like maybe we're just turning the TV up a little bit louder, right. and we ignore issues that could really be signs yeah. of serious uh, hearing loss. So at what point do we say, you know what, this is pretty serious? When, when you can no longer hear somebody speak from another room, mm -hmm. then you know you've got something going on. So you really should see a licensed hearing health care professional. Yeah. And you know, Michelle, I feel like there's, sometimes there's a stigma. Sometimes people yeah. don't want to admit that they're losing their hearing. But yeah. uh, you know, there's so much help out there that can help mm -hmm. people. So talk to me about those, uh, those who might be a little embarrassed or ashamed. You know, if you're a little embarrassed, a little ashamed about maybe I have some hearing loss, just contact us at acdhh.org. We will help you. My hard of hearing specialist, who is also hard of hearing, will talk with you about that and kind of figure out what, what you need to do. Maybe you need some hearing assistive technology or an amplified phone, which we provide free of charge, by the way. You know, on that note, I want to talk about some of those assistive devices mm -hmm. uh, that are out there. Uh, you know, I feel like when we uh, lose hearing, that there is, you know, uh, to some degree, a little bit of a loss mm -hmm. of um, uh, some quality of life. You don't get to interact with your loved ones or, mm -hmm. as you were saying, even getting instructions from your doctor. So talk yeah. about the technology that's out there to assist people. There are a lot of technologies. There are captioning apps on your phone, speech to text that you can use, um, hearing assistive listening devices that are very inexpensive, hearing aids, of course, which run from all kinds of price ranges on those. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can accommodate your hearing loss. Just contact us and we will help, help be happy to walk you through that and get you connected because we don't want you to isolate. We don't want yes. you to stay at home. No longer go to the movies. If I go to the movies, I get the little captioning box yes. or the assistive listening device free. Yeah, it, it, that's exactly right. Yeah. You just have to know to ask. Right. Uh, real quickly, you have got to get participation on this survey. Tell me yeah. where people need to log on so they can just go be to our website, www.acdhh.org. And it's right there on the front page. Click it, take the survey. It's in ASL, sign uh -huh. language, as well as caption. So oh, totally accessible. You know what? Bravo to all the work that you, you do. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Michelle, thanks for spending some time with us.